In this video, I would like to show you how to connect the Olympus 38DL Plus to the GageView Thickness Program through an RS-232 cable. The first thing you'll want to do is verify the communication settings on the instrument. So I'm using a VGA to USB adapter, so you can see the screen of my instrument. So if you press the Setup menu key, and then press the down arrow to COM, and press Enter, we're connecting through an RS-232 cable, so you want to make sure that the connection type is set to RS-232. Right now it's showing USB. So if I use the right arrow and switch that to RS-232, I also will want to switch the RS-232 device to terminal using the right arrow. So from here you can choose your baud rate. I'm just going to do 38400 for this video. Then you can press the red measure key. So you can then connect the RS-232 cable from the instrument to the computer. If you do not have a direct serial port on your PC, which is common on newer computers, we would recommend you use the USB cable to connect the 38DL Plus. If you're using an older model instrument that only had RS-232 communication, then you'll need to purchase a USB to serial adapter. These can be purchased from most common electronics stores. And you do want to make sure that you install the device drivers included with the adapter. So once you have the equipment connected, we want to check and see which COM port the instrument is using. So if you go into your control panel, and then system, and then device manager, if you look under ports, COM, and LPT, it should show you which COM port the instrument's using. So I'm using a Keyspan USB to serial adapter, and it's using COM1. So you'll need this information later on in GageView, so just take note of which COM port the instrument's using. So then you can go ahead and open up GageView Thickness. You want to make sure you have the device window and also the PC window. If for some reason you don't, you can click Window and then Default. So you'll have an upper window and a lower window. You can also choose to orient these differently, but I prefer to have the upper and lower. So the next thing you'll want to do is initialize the instrument. So if you click Device and then Config, you have your device list with all the instruments, and then you also have your current configured devices. So the 38DL Plus has two options. Since we're connecting through RS-232, we're going to choose that one and then click Add. If you want gauge view thickness to automatically initialize the instrument when you open the program, you can check off Connect at Startup. So to configure the instrument, since it's RS-232, we need to click the instrument and then click Configure. So here I choose my COM port. I'm using COM1. My baud rate I changed to 38400. So then typically we keep data bits 8, stop bits 1, parity none, and handshake X on, X off. Then you can click Save. So then you have the option to click Waveform Transfer. So by default, if you have a file in GageView Thickness that contains waveforms and thickness data, when you transfer the file back to the instrument, only the thickness data transfers. The waveforms do not. And the reason being is most customers don't need the waveforms transferred back to the unit. And also by not sending them, it helps cut down on the time it takes to transfer the file. But if you'd prefer to have the waveforms transferred back, you can check off transfer waveform data to gauge and then click OK. For this video, I'm just going to leave it unchecked. So then I can click OK. So the instrument should now be initialized and appear in the upper window under Devices. If I click 38DL plus RS-232, I'll see all the files on the instrument out to the right. If I click App Setups, I'll see all the Save Custom Single Element Transducer Setups. So then from here, now that the instrument's initialized, I can transfer the files to a database or export to Excel or CSV. So if the instrument did not initialize properly, I would verify the instrument is turned on and the RS-232 cable is plugged into the 38 and also directly into a serial port on the computer. 
If you're using a USB to serial adapter, I would verify that the cables are all connected properly and that the drivers for the adapter have been installed properly. If you need further assistance connecting the instrument to gauge view thickness, please contact us.